Shalom, the Lord bless you. I'm Pastor Tayong Honoring. And by the grace of God, I've been married for 16 years. Until I got into marriage, then I realized the reality and fantasies were two different things. And then I realized that there were many things. For instance, the first lesson I learned in marriage was that love is not enough. The first reality that hit me hard was that love is not enough. Still love your husband the same way you love them. And they still love you, but you realize that the marriage is struggling at some point. It's not every day that you wake up and you're like, wow, I'm in love. It's not every day that you wake up feeling that thing. There are days, and then I realized Another discovery I made was that I might not have made the best of my singlehood. I realized there were days that the, the singlehood, the, 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 the time that I, I spent praying and believing God for marriage, I should have been enjoying and maximizing my singlehood. Because believe me, there's going to the moment you say I do. You, you, you come to that stage in your life, this person is attached to you. And there are days that you get up, maybe you're stressed off from work. Maybe you're just going through that season. And you sometimes you just even want to take a retreat. <laughs> and, 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 you, and you're not alone in the house anymore. And then you start realizing that you should have been enjoying your singlehood. But you spent your singlehood thinking that you'll be happier when you get married. Another hard lesson I learned was that happiness actually it doesn't come with marriage if you were not happy single marriage will not make you happy i learned that marriage doesn't really complete you if you were not complete as a single marriage will not automatically make you feel complete. <laughs> because if you get into it as a broken person, God says the man will leave his father and mother and will meet, and the two, not the halves, the two shall become one, not the halves shall become one. Meaning you are coming whole and happy and healthy. And he's coming whole and happy and healthy. So if the two of you are broken and shattered and looking at each other to make you happy and healthy, you are just going to be two broken halves coming together and you might actually not fit in. So one of the mistakes that I realized that we made is that why, instead of working on yourself and dealing with some of the mess and some of the issues that we have been going through, you are thinking marriage will make you happy, marriage will make you complete, marriage will make you feel whole. And instead, that other person too might just be thinking the same and thinking they are coming, then your presence in their life is going to make them feel happy, feel whole and complete. And you are thinking their presence. Now don't get me wrong of course when the two hands come together they can tie a bundle but then it's not two broken hands without fingers it's two whole hands that are coming together to tie the bundle i thought marriage was going to automatically give me happiness but i realized that i needed to work so hard to be happy by myself. I needed to put in what was necessary for me to be happy. I needed to find myself. Marriage didn't unveil to me my purpose to give me the fulfillment. Marriage in itself, I was thinking that marriage will make me fulfilled. It will make me satisfied. But then I realized that the time I was supposed to spend investing in myself, investing in self-discovery, purpose discovery, discovering myself and aligning myself to my purpose. I spent it believing God for marriage, only to get married and then realize that the fulfillment, what was supposed to actually add the fulfillment to the marriage was out of the equation. 
thought marriage would make life easy until reality dawned on me in marriage that I had to bring something on the table to make life easy. So if my life was not easy when I was single, I wasn't financially stable, I might just have gone into act as a burden to another person's life who maybe was looking probably for a helpmate and the helpmate came with issues. And when I was believing God for marriage, I never really looked at it like I was supposed to be helmet. I was looking for help. I was thinking that it's going to make things easier. It means it's going to come with some help and some relief. Until I got into it and then I realized <laughs> I was supposed to come with the help and the relief that was needed. And I don't know who is listening to me and you are just the same like me, like I was some years back. You are anticipating and trusting God for marriage, believing God for marriage, praying for marriage. Getting to the point where you feel like you can only be happy if you get married. Honey, you've got to be happy. You've got to discover your purpose. You've got to be fulfilled. You've got to, you've got to be whole. Deal with that mess. Deal with that brokenness. Deal with that attitude. Deal with that character. Deal with the flaws and the weaknesses. You've got to ensure that you are standing tall. Because another thing I learned was that marriage will amplify you the way you are. You know, like, you can be dating someone who is... I've seen people who are in a relationship with someone who is cheating on them. And then you feel like this person is cheating because I'm a Christian and I can't, I don't want to engage in sex. So when we get married, we are going to be fine. They won't cheat on me anymore. Marriage amplifies you. Meaning, if you were good, it's going to amplify your goodness. If you have character issues, it's going to amplify it. The things that were never seen or noticed when you were just visiting during courtship, the attributes, the character flaws that were never seen or noticed when you were still in courtship, when you were still just getting to know each other when you were still just visiting the things that you could even hide when you are married there is no hiding place you are with this person you wake up right next to them even if you were pretending about some things you you get tired of pretending you know, it's easy to visit someone and then you put your last energy to spend one hour praying. Yeah. And then this person feels like, wow, wow. And we were just talking and we just said we should pray. She's been praying for one hour. Oh my God. And deep within you, you know, that's the longest prayer you have prayed in, in one month. Breaking news when you get married. They are going to see that in one month you prayed one day. You can pretend and the day he says he's coming over to visit you, you can go order food from the restaurant, put it in your pot and say you cooked. Guess what? When you are married, you can't every day keep buying food and pretending you cooked. Even if he goes to work daily. He's going to have to discover you the way you are. You know what they say, love is blind. I always add that marriage is an eye opener. You get into love blindly. <laughs> you, 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 you love blindly. Marriage is going to open your eyes. I learned. You see the things that you ignore. And the things that you feel like you can. They will change. You might not know how 
be it will aggravate to be when you are living under one roof with this person but then also on the other hand let it not be like marriage was all bad now all these things i discovered does it mean that it makes marriage all bad no it means that I'm sharing this with you so that you can be better prepared for it. I'm sharing this with you so that you can enjoy your singlehood. I'm sharing this with you so that you know when you get married, a part of you is lost. Because from marriage, the next thing comes, the children. And then, <laughs> and then you realize that you are gradually losing you, losing your core values, virtues, and it is going to take a conscious decision for you to still be you. Oh, this was not my size when I got married. I gained weight during pregnancy. So I cannot slay the way I used to slay. And weight loss now is a conscious decision. For me, it's easier with the responsibilities of marriage. For me to just let go of myself. And just let and just go. That's why it's hard. You see women, and sometimes they can when they show you their before marriage and after marriage, you cannot, you, 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 you cannot synchronize the two. You cannot put the two side by side. You don't understand what happened. The reality of marriage happened to them. That you can easily lose you when you get married. 